Hi guys, it's Jamie from PMR. Another new stainless steel gear. So, it's a single gear because the reel this is going to go in actually has a stainless steel pinion. So you're asking, what's the reel? You are so going to love this. How many of you have got a mag or an ST, Daiwa 7HT mag or ST? If you do, you can now turn it into a rough ground reel, courtesy of Manfish. It's got helical gears. Yep, that was the doorbell, Mr. Posty coming to do his thing. So, as I was saying, helical gears. Um, these are standard helical gears that uh, will replace the brass gear that is in the Daiwa 7HTST and the Daiwa 7HT, the blue and gold mag. This will not work on a Daiwa, I have to think about this now, 7HT Classic or Turbo because they have smaller um, drag washers and so the diameter of the indent here is a little bit smaller. Anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to put this gear in here because I've had so many people ask about uh, putting gears in the, uh, the Abu reel or or the Akios reel since I um, got the um, stainless steel, full stainless steel 6.3 to 1 gears for that and uh, I will be making one shortly but these this is 5.8 to 1 this is a standard gear to replace the brass gear and so if we uh, take the handle and you have to remove the handle and this one's quite tight because I put this one in tight a little while ago there we go I'll just loosen that off and I'll use the little screwdriver take the brake uh, brake take the uh, locking plate take that off and then take your spanner and there you go just give it a crack and just open that up so that the nut comes off. There you go. Now, there is a tiny little clip in here. If you don't have a pinion support, then you'll have a clip, a little e-clip, and then the, underneath it there'll be a tiny little washer, which is a horrible little thing. So, either one. Put a very small screwdriver in against the uh, centre spindle and then give it a little twist like that and out it comes. Keep your thumb on it while you're doing it because otherwise it will warp into another universe and go ping. Uh, if you're, you've are you got the reel right you'll have a pinion support sleeve. There you go. There's the pinion support sleeve. Now this one's a bronze one I've got in here. Should put a titanium one in because I've got titanium now but... Uh, it'll do for the moment. Lift the handle off. When you lift the handle off sometimes there's a little bit of rounding off at the top here and as in this little bit let's get back in the middle here this little bit just here. So you may find that when you lift your uh, handle it sticks round here. If that happens push it back down again take a very fine file and just take that little edge off there which sometimes rounds off and makes it difficult to take the handle off okay now it's a click gear so wind it out this is a star drag it's got a click gear on it so you just keep winding it out and then you'll get to a point where the clicking stops wind it slowly because you don't want to lose any parts Eventually, nearly, there you go, it will come off. There's your clicker, this is the little ratchet piece that uh, serves for the clicker. You do have to take, very gently, take that off. I suggest that you put a piece of tissue down if you've got a hardwood <laughs> or anything else 
that you don't want messed up because it can get a little bit greasy because that as you can see there's a lot of grease in there there you go just popping down there now you can as well just make a little line as of as you've taken everything off and that gives you a little timeline for putting it back there you go if I do that like that unless you want to wind the video back so there you go okay next part you've got two brake plate screws I tend to take these off well I've still got everything else in situ just because it makes it easier to hold now these are the brake plate screws and um, one thing you can do is you can do this on a tray so that if you do drop anything it doesn't tend to disappear in between the floorboards there you go okay now having taken the brake plate screws off I'm now going to loosen the main crown screws that hold the brake plate on there you go so now everything is about to come off so this is where you have to be a little bit careful I'm going to leave the brake plate in situ and I'm just going to slide off the top for the moment and it will slide off when you've undone it properly now when you do this you have to do it very slowly because here and here underneath there are two small springs they're the same springs believe it or not that were in the original Daiwa 7 HT classic if you take this off and you're not careful you'll lose these springs these are the springs for the clutch not a good idea to lose these very gently just lift it off like that there you go and you can see you've got a stainless steel main gear with a brass gear and you have these horrible little springs this actual setup here has been exactly the same <laughs> ever since the first 7HT and you know what you can't really fault the 7HTs as a standard reel not an awful lot you can do to them but they're good out of the box what can I say okay now there's a dog tooth gear just here so when you lift this up that dog tooth is going to come with it okay and what I tend to do is lift it up twist it remove it let the dog tooth stay on there that way you don't lose it okay now you've stripped everything off just grab hold of the main steel shaft give it a little wiggle and it'll come off and there you go there's your spool I'm going to pop that out of the way for the minute so we have the gear now what I'm going to do with the gear I'm going to slide it off of the shaft now sometimes it doesn't want to come because there's little bits of brass in here that will restrict the movement and sometimes you do have to give it a good push also you may need a small fine file just to take this little bit off here because where the screw pushes down on the handle not so much with these because it's a carbon fiber handle so this is a bit softer but if you've got a metal handle as it pushes down on here and you're retrieving you get a little lip here and that has to be removed with a small file otherwise you'll find that when you try and pull this over and up it won't come now my 7ht st uh, it's kind of a spare obviously i use pmr mac one and rough ground reels so this is kind of the spare reel up till now i might use it a bit more now i've got a decent gear for it but it's obviously in very good condition so this just slid off straight away okay now there's your shaft so with the shaft first thing you're going to do take the fiber washer that's on the bottom of the brass gear and pop it back on the shelf i'm going to take a little bit of tissue paper and i'm just going to 
clean this up a little bit, apart from anything else, because I want to put it on a wooden table without it being messy. I take a small screwdriver. Now I'm going to zoom in on this bit. There you go. I'm going to take a small screwdriver. I'm going to push it through the middle and I'm going to lift out all of the washers in one. It's all the washers. Okay. Now I'm going to take the new brass gear. Uh, sorry, the new stainless steel gear. And I'm going to slide him down like so. And there you go. He will pop on the bottom. And there you go. There you go. Okay, I'm going to set this down. I'm going to take the washers. I'm going to slide the screwdriver into the top of the uh, hole where the uh, stainless steel support goes through. There you go, and they slid down. There's your gears slid down. Now, you've got to get all your gears sitting properly in place. And it can be a little bit fiddly sometimes. of the gears. All in place. So let's back this off a bit. Okay so brake plate. Take the dog tooth anti-reverse gear. Take him off and place him Put this up here so you can see. There you go. You've got two little brass pieces that are sprung, and they have to sit either side of this gear. So you've got to kind of gently force it in. There you go. Push him in so he's sitting like that. Turn him over. Slide him down the shaft and make sure that the dog tooth is sticking out enough. There you go, Did you see that? To go on his shaft. Also, you need to make sure he's pushed in so that he comes up against the, the stop like that. There you go. Now, Having put the main shaft back on the, uh, or the main drive shaft back on the main spindle shaft, check that it's turning. It should be turning quite nicely. Bearing in mind you still have these two rather horrible little bearings, that uh, bearings, rather horrible little springs that you have to be careful not to lose. Now, this is where I'm not going to put it back on the reel now until it's all together. Simply because I don't want to lose anything by turning it sideways now. So, if you've taken this off as I showed you, you've still got your roller bearing in here and your roller that goes through the bearing and goes on here, which gives you your anti-reverse. Now, if you look at that, there's a little keyway inside there. There you go. You can see you've got two flat spots. You've got two flat spots on your drive shaft which you can see flopping about quite a lot at the moment so put this down flat near as damn it slide this in the roller will pop out of the roller bearing but it's just so much easier if you don't have to put it back in so uh, and watch the uh, the brass bush that's there as well and uh, just persuade him to uh, to slide in and line it up. Okay, here we go. And slides in, and then make sure that the springs haven't gone anywhere. And you've got to marry those springs up as well, and then just gently give it a push, and down 
it should go. Now I'm ready to put the side plate back on the brake plate. So first thing you do, where well, you've got a bearing in here and you've got the, the brass bush, put your finger on it, turn it over and you'll see you've got this little black tensioner that pushes on the end of the spool here and it goes through the hole here. Lift it up so you can see that. Yeah, the hole that's in the middle of the pinion drive gear. So you can try and thread that straight through there. Bit of a pain. Much easier. Undo the float cap. And take this little tensioner out. Because basically it's a pain. A lot easier to put it in after the fact. So making sure that your little springs are still there. There we go. Make sure that the uh, flat side parts of the drive gear or drive shaft sorry and the flat parts of the roller bearing the anti-reverse are the same and then just slide those in and they will slide in quite often that will happen when it does just take the bearing and the bush just give it a little push and it should now sink all the way down and clear now if you try to push it all the way down and you find there's a little bit of a gap here, have a look here and make sure that the anti-reverse dog tooth hasn't come up against the metal stop here because sometimes that can happen and it will stop you from pushing this down and getting it to sit properly like it's supposed to. There you go. That's now sitting properly. Okay. Now once that's sitting properly, check the gear. Uh, two screws. And pop your screws in. These are the brake plate screws. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of oil now on my hands. My hands were clean at the start of this. Now they're uh, going to need a wash. So, good idea to uh, have a little bit of tissue to hand while you're doing this. Now, when you've put those in, the two brake plate screws, let's see if I can do it so you can see, I'm going to tighten it with, uh, this is a, an Akios tool, but any Abu Akios or a Daiwa tool will do. Now once you've tightened that up, don't tighten them too tight because you don't need to. Just give them a good little nip and that's all you need. Now, turn the shaft. There should be absolutely no resistance. That should spin perfectly. There you go. Next, take your tensioner pop your tensioner back down through and put the tension cap or float cap more of a tension cap no float on this as such now clicker with the two Bellevue washers I don't know if you can see that but there are two Bellevue washers in there there you go be careful not to lose them. They're the curved washers that give the resistance for the clicker and slide them all the way down. Then take your star drag. Make sure you've got it right. It's a very fine thread. Be very careful not to cross thread it take the red cover and make sure that that is pushed in and it's correct and push this down. Now here's the thing as you screw this down you can see here 
that the uh, clicker part is not inside where it should be and it's now pushing the clicker at an angle so take a small flat blade screwdriver push this down and pop it inside where it's supposed to be a couple more turns and now we should hear a click I know the light's not brilliant in here, I'm going to have to do something about that at some point. There you go, there's the clicker. Again, push the red cover down. Now, a handle. There's no little spring in here like there is on an Abba or an Akios because you've already got the spring inside the clicker. So the handle just goes straight on. Having put the handle on, one bronze pinion, long 15mm bronze pinion, pop him in, like so, and take this very, very, very small E-clip, also known as a C-clip, and replace him, being very careful just to Hold it with your thumb when you get the teeth to hit the groove. Take your tool, whichever tool you're using, put it up against the side, use your thumb, and it will pop in place. Be very careful when you're doing it, you might even want to put a finger on the other side because again, if you don't get this right, it will go ping and it will warp into another universe and you will never ever see it again. Put the uh, locking nut down on top of the handle and tighten the locking nut. Don't need to do it too tight, just nip it up as you can see. I've put the point against the screw hole so that when I take the locking plate and I put the locking plate back in its place, it marries up with the screw hole straight away don't have to mess around if you don't get quite get it right once you've got the locking plate on put your tool back on move it backwards and forwards and then you will get it right last but not least one small locking plate nut locking plate screw in tighten and then with the big daddy tool, just give it a quick nip. Last but not least, give it a turn. There you go, look at that, absolutely brilliant. Make sure that your spool is in the right place and marry up or line up the screw hole. You can see the screw hole here. Yeah, see the screw hole and the screw. Line them up. Put them back together. And then Take your tool, just give him a little nip. You don't need to give it more than a nip. There you go, that's how to put a main drive cog in a 7HT Millionaire mag or super tuned. I'm Jamie, thank you for watching PMR Pimp My Reel. We'll see you next time.